Hey y'all, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to do this stress soft locks. So of course you want to plait the hair first and then you want to add that crochet lock to the middle of the braid. And you want to make sure to braid the whole thing down because when they're taking their hair out, it's going to make it easier for them to take it out without cutting their actual hair. Now I'm going to show y'all the type of hair I use at the end of the video, but as you can see, it's a little curly piece and it's a little afro fluff. So I like to make sure that each piece has a little curly piece. So when you pull the hair through, you want to make sure to hold the shorter piece with the braid and begin to wrap. So when you begin to wrap, you want to make sure to do it two times real tight. Like not too tight, but make sure it's tight enough to make it look like it's tight. And then you want to start wrapping down. You don't want to wrap around the base too many times because that's how you get that fat base. So if you want to get a flat base, only wrap two times and then start wrapping down. You want to make sure that the hair is overlapping to prevent slippage. You want to wrap tight towards the top, but then you want to loosen up your wrapping once you get towards the end because you want it to blend with the lock. You don't want it to be obvious of where you end your wrapping. And I'm going to show you guys how to seal your ends. So right here you can see I'm going to start wrapping upward and then I'm also going to wrap back down. That's how you're going to seal your ends. You don't need any hair glue or anything else and it's going to stay trusty. Here goes another angle for you guys. Sorry my ring light will not get any higher but I am going to order a new ring light so that way you guys can see from a better angle. But when I do this braid y'all I am braiding really tight. Like honestly, as tight as I can. And yeah, it might be tight for the client for the moment, but you want that base to be tight before you start wrapping. So that way you don't have to wrap too tight. You don't want your client's head to be hurting. Also, please make sure to add your locks in this way. Do not add them to the base of the head. That creates way too much tension and your client will be complaining about it being too tight. You shouldn't be putting the lock in the base of the head. You should be adding it in the middle of the braid. Also, if you made it this far in the video, please make sure to hit subscribe. Support your girl because I'm on a road to 100K. Also, feel free to comment any questions or concerns you might have. And give me some video suggestions that you guys want to see. New styles you guys want to see. I'm really doing this for y'all, so let me know. Also, hit like if you learned something new. And make sure to turn on your post notifications bell so that we can be alerted for my next video. When you finish, you want to make sure to add some mousse and blow dry it into the hair. And then spray it with some shining spray. And there you go. We finished the style in five hours, y'all. So now the type of hair I used was the twisted up. And I used the Nala Tress for the locks. And we only used the 14 and 12 because the 10 was way too short. 